All right, welcome back for part two. Uh, Jim Bob's not here. He had to run to the liquor store and get us some supplies. So we're gonna get this thing here uh, put together. We already put the uh, top part on the bottom part, and that's real simple. It's just uh, um, like that. It just slides on there like that, and then you flip that little thing there to lock it. Just like that, so it can't come off. Um, that's about all the further I got. That's about all I know. So uh, let's um, slide this out of the way. This is accessories I can do over there with Louie. Don't eat it, Louie. Okay, I'll set that there. Just book out here. See what's in here. Couple things. Uh, focus wheel. Don't need to know that right now. Phone holder. Don't need that right now. Quick start guide. Probably going to need that. Disclaimer and safety guides. We don't need that. Uh... Australian consumer law. Don't need that. Okay, so let's go with the uh, this thing here. I got another focus monitor thing here. What's this one for? I don't know. We'll just leave that there because it's probably used for something. <clears throat> Not right here. This comes in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve languages other than English. So even though it's a big intimidating book, not much of it applies to anything but English or whatever like we well, you know what I mean. Alright, um let's see so there's a list of all the different components, I guess. Um so the first thing it does is it puts on this tripod thingy here. So let's put that sun sun gun. I don't want to swear too much on this one. Sun gun on here like this. And that threads into the small hole in the bottom because there's two. So we got, um, I guess is that. I think that's the front like that. I don't know. It looks pretty impressive though. All right. Uh, the next step is putting this piece on, which we already did. That was a simple thing to do. Let's see here. Uh, charging the battery. Um, I already charged the battery, so it's charged. That's uh, where's that? Right, right there is a USB. Right there, you just pop that off, and a cord comes with it. You plug that in, charge it. Easy peasy, cover girl. All right, mounting the camera. I don't have a camera. Uh, let's see here. Let's uh, <clears throat> we got that. So what do we do with it? Um, let's see. Better read. Better read this and know what we're doing here. Uh, make sure to prepare the camera before mounting to the Ronin SC. Remove the lens cap and make sure the battery and memory card are inserted to the camera. Doesn't matter, we're just mocking this up. The three axes of the gimbal are locked by default. Unlock the three axes, adjust the gimbal to position as shown, and lock the axes again. Okay, so let's unlock them. And this one was over here. So it has it like this. I don't know why that little pad's in there. Uh, how does it go? Like that. So that locks like that. That one locks there. And then that one locks like that. Okay. Not too bad. Um, if required, attach riser plate, which. We're all gonna have to attach that. Uh, I believe this is the riser plate. Um, I think. I'm almost positive that's the riser plate. But it doesn't. There's gotta be a screw somewhere for it. Um, I'm not. I remember seeing a screw yesterday. There's, well, that can't be it, it's too small. There's a screw somewhere. There's a 
plate, riser plate, where is your screw? A source on it? Yeah, none of those are big enough. Well, that, that could be it there. I bet you that's it. I think we got it. I think we got it. All right, there's, there's those screws there. Look like they're about right. I think we only need one. We don't see it. You can give us a Phillips or a screwdriver. Does this thing go over there? Yeah, I guess it does. But we gotta put it up underneath here. There we go. Takes a little finagling, a little bit of finagling. Let's get out the old uh, trusty uh, Leatherman here because we need a screwdriver. Oh, that looks like a flathead there. Oh, wait, I guess that just popped right through there. So let's attach this to the bottom of the camera. That's uh, pretty simple, pretty basic. I think most people know how to do that. Oh, get on there. Get on there. Tighten it down. There we go. So, uh, I guess it goes like this. That don't make sense. Something's wrong here. Oh wait, there's a slider. I do remember seeing this, we need the slider. So, I believe the slider goes on here. See, the next part of doing this is you gotta learn as you go. They don't always make things easy. Let's uh... You know what? I probably should read. Listen, attach the dovetail plate, number one. That's this. And lens support, number two. Which is uh... I remember seeing it. Is it this? That's this thing. This is the lens support. No, uh, where was that? Move the slider in the front of the plate, lens the camera. Da, 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 da. So that goes on there like that. So that would be this screw here, is for that. So this goes through like that. screws into there. That's a light support. That makes sense. Alright. Uh, we still need to get that plate into here, which I believe one of those fit. That's the dog they do. So, one of these go up in here somehow. Well, in the back here. In the back, it's cut out a little bit more there, so you can just thread this in there, and then it pops down in like such. And you can slide it. Easy peasy. So let's uh, put this in that first hole there. Typically, if I'm using this, I'm gonna be using it on with the bigger monitor or bigger uh, lens, with a zoom lens, not a prime. So. Uh, such as, uh, well, see now you gotta adjust a couple things. We'll loosen this up. Give that room to slide. So, tighten down that thing. And then you're gonna want this piece here to go against the part of the camera that does not move. Because this is to support weight. So there, I guess like that. Okay, we're getting closer. That's done. All right, now 
sliding this onto here as we thought. Um, loosen the knob on the bottom of the camera mounting plate. Alright, so what you do is out here, get up there, okay. this one right here is what slides it in uh, over. So you gotta loosen that in order to slide this on here like that and then tighten it back down once the camera's in about the middle there. And, and tighten it down and turn it and turn it and turn it. There we go. Tighten it down. Now, you're also gonna wanna have. You don't want to have these straps off. I left them on just because we're just doing an initial setup here. We're not actually going to be balancing and calibrating. We're just getting everything hooked up. All right, so once that's done, you want to uh, do the balancing, which I can't do with the straps on. So I guess I'm taking the straps off. Alright, once you get the strap off, that's what you got. Uh, doesn't seem too balanced to me. I think I want to slide this forward a little bit more. Right, right backward. Maybe back all the way. Alright, close enough. Mm -hmm. 